Hello folks, I hope you're having a very relaxing Sunday afternoon and thanks for tuning in to Tech TV. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and the little bell for the notification of our next video. I have one question to ask you about this hoof. Will it need a block or not? Put your answers in the comments right now and I'll chat to you at the end of this short trim. This foot was hugely overgrown with massive chunks that had to come off. That was the start of a white line in this foot. And uh, as you've seen in other videos, we put on blocks to rest the sick claw. But the best block you can ever have is a block that you make yourself, a homemade one. Today, I'm bringing you a second trim in this video as a little Sunday treat. This girl was moving quite fast, but I could notice her holding her front right foot a little bit funny. So let's get her into the crush and see how we can help. So most lame front feet have the lesion on the inner claw and this foot is no different. So let's get a block on the good side before we start removing any of the loose detached horn around the ulcer and the fracture at the heel. So 
So this particular lesion is going to need rested for around four to six weeks. These cows are milked three times a day. So if I was to put on a wooden block, it would have probably wore away before the lesion had healed. That's why I'm fitting an orange TP block, which is high wear. And in four to six weeks, I will recheck this cow and hopefully the lesion will have healed and the block will still be there. I trim away the loose horn as gently as I can, trying not to further insult the injured corium. This takes a bit of time and a sharp knife as I gently feel for where the separation of the hoof is. was first appearing at the sole ulcer site is connected to the peeling heel at the top. So I have to strip all of this loose horn away to allow the new healthy sole to grow. Some of you have commented and wondered why I feel around the lesion. I do this to feel for sharp edges that if not removed would not allow the lesion to heal 100%. This cow will certainly feel better after this trim and salicylic acid bandage. And as I'm letting the crush down and letting her out of the crush, I want to thank Jessica Baxter, Uriel Gray and Jean Thompson for your generous coffee donations. And thank you for fueling my love of coffee. And after a few awkward steps, this cow is starting to feel the comfort of the trim. Thanks for watching folks. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.